some of the issues discussed in the student government debate revolved around topics like diversity and inclusivity. Kiana Franks is in studio with us tonight to discuss the prevalence of racial discrimination on campus. Thanks guys. When most students think of the college learning experience, they picture academic learning. But that experience also includes understanding different cultures and backgrounds that will be reflected in the professional world beyond graduation. I uncovered the importance of this issue. SU is a predominantly white university, and not surprisingly, minority students often feel a separation due to long-standing stereotypes. It's something that I face as a freshman. This is the first time I've experienced something like that. So it's just eye-opening to like, wow, this is really how people are. According to LSU's 2018 to 2019 climate survey, a bulk of minority students reported some concern about racial and ethnic discrimination at LSU. Nearly half of white students reported being not at all concerned, while nearly three quarters of black students reported they were concerned. Because of incidents like the one on February 19th, students reported a white classmate using the N-word to express personal frustrations in their class group meet. When asked not to use the word, she continued to belittle the historical context and negativity behind it, which highly upset other classmates. Personally, no one outside of the minority group should say it, honestly, because it was a word used against our ancestors, but if others in that group say that, you know, their white friends can say it or whoever, then that should be between them and, uh, like, them. Office of Student Advocacy and Accountability often investigates situations like this, but the outcomes aren't always clear. Assistant Dean of Students Teresia Greer says SAA and programs that address diversity and leadership do a lot, but can only do so much. Oftentimes we think that a program is going to fix things and speakers don't change behavior. Um, we think that, you know, having a brochure and making sure every student gets a blast email, that's not going to change behavior, but making sure that everyone has some type of cultural competence to be able to have the conversations and the hard conversations, that changes behavior. Both Greer and Mullen agree further education on the nature and meaning of discriminatory language can help decrease the level of these actions. Organization leaders have come together to educate and address uncomfortable conversations surrounding racial discrimination. Greer is advising NPHC and working with the Office of Multicultural Affairs to address racial discrimination on campus. For Tiger TV News, I'm Kiana Franks. Back to you guys at the desk.